Hello, welcome to Helena Coffee. Today we will introduce you to the density of coffee beans. Coffee bean density is important data for roasters, green coffee buyers as well as producers. It is often thought of as a quality score, but to really understand coffee density you need to understand what makes coffee, thick, or less, porous, how they are graded, as well as how density affects how about the roasting process and the final taste. What is particle density? Density is how dense a substance is. You calculate it by dividing the mass of an object by its volume. In the case of coffee, density is the ratio of the weight of the coffee bean to its volume, in units, gram per milliliter, or, gram per centimeter 3. And since laboratory densitometers are expensive, before you do the particle density calculations yourself, check out the following figure. Usually, just by looking at coffee beans, you can tell which ones are harder and stronger. If the crack in the middle of the grain is straight and slightly open, the grain may be more porous, less dense. Conversely, if the crack is tortuous and closed, the grain may be denser. For coffee professionals around the world, bean density is recognized as an important metric for grading and grading green coffee by quality. Harder, denser nuts, as usual, will be prized and, as a result, farmers often receive a premium. A coffee bean is basically like a beehive. It is a hollow cellulose structure, similar to wood. The job of this structure is to hold nutrients for the embryo. However, sometimes the granules are only partially filled, and so it's more porous, with a weaker flavor. Whereas, thick beans contain more flavor precursors, so this leads to more flavor after roasting. For green coffee beans, high density means that the beans have a larger number of cells and a more compact cell structure than coffees with lower density. The way that a particle absorbs energy, experiences stress, cracks, and grows will be different than a particle with a lower density. What makes coffee thicker or more porous? Roasters are often quite concerned with whether coffees are grown at high altitudes, an indication that beans tend to be denser. Cooler weather in the high mountains, especially at night, slows down the ripening of coffee cherries. Longer time on the plant leads to more cells multiplying inside the seed, resulting in higher density.